Hey guys, welcome back to Cisco Biology. Today, we are going to learn chapter 8.3, Gaseous Exchange in Humans, all right? Okay, so when we talk about the gases in our human body, straight away, we can relate to two gases, which is oxygen and carbon dioxide. So we all know that oxygen can be transported by red blood cell. So on the red blood cell, we have four slots and the slots is being called hemoglobin. The oxygen will bind to the hemoglobin and being transported throughout our body. So this is for oxygen. But for today, instead of oxygen, we are going to learn the transport of carbon dioxide in our blood circulatory system. Basically, carbon dioxide can be transported in three ways. Okay, the first way is being transported as a dissolved carbon dioxide. So when we say dissolved, this carbon dioxide is being dissolved in our blood plasma, all right? And being carried as carbonic acid, H2CO3 in the blood plasma. Next, the second way, about 23% of the carbon dioxide bind to the hemoglobins to form carbamino hemoglobin. Wow. The third way is 70% of the carbon dioxide is being transported in the blood in the form of bicarbonate ions. What? This is so confusing, but it's okay. Let's draw it out. So first of all, we are going to draw two blood capillaries. One capillary on the left side, the other one on the right side. The blood capillary at the left side is called the tissue capillary. The capillary on the right side is called the lungs capillary. So as suggested by the name, the tissue capillary is close to our body tissue. So to make it simple, we are going to draw a few body cells here. And right side, we have the lung capillaries. That means this capillary is close to the lungs. So we are going to draw the alveolus here. In previous chapter, we already know that a cell will carry out cellular respiration in order to generate energy. So a normal cell that will take in oxygen and also glucose to produce energy, water, and the last thing is carbon dioxide. Now, this carbon dioxide is the waste product of this cellular respiration we are going to remove we are going to remove this carbon dioxide from our body we have three ways the first way is carbon dioxide will dissolve in the blood plasma of our blood capillary so right here the carbon dioxide is said to be the dissolved carbon dioxide in our blood plasma this dissolved carbon dioxide will be transported by our blood plasma from the tissue capillary to the lungs capillaries. Once the dissolved carbon dioxide reach the lungs capillary, this carbon dioxide will diffuse from the plasma of the lung capillaries back to the alveolus and then it can expel it out. Let's move on to the second way. So right here, we are going to draw a wrapper cell. The carbon dioxide that is being produced by the cell will enter the red blood cell in our tissue capillary. So inside the red blood cell, we have the carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide will mix with the water with the assistance of one type of enzyme, which is called the carbonic and hydrase. This enzyme will mix the carbon dioxide and the water to form carbonic acid. H2CO3 and then this H2CO3 will start to dissociate into ions which is the hydrogen ion and also HCO3 the bicarbonate ions this bicarbonate ion will diffuse into the blood plasma let me zoom in once bicarbonate ion reach the lungs capillaries they will choose to diffuse back into the red blood cell. Inside the red blood cell, we have the HCO3 minus. So this HCO3 minus will bind with the hydrogen ion to form the carbonic ion, which is the H2CO3. Then this H2CO3 will be converted 
into H2O and CO2. So right here, we have the CO2 already. And this CO2 will back to the alveolus in our lungs and then remove from our body to the environment. Okay, last one. Same thing, we are going to draw the red blood cell over here. And then we are going to draw another red blood cell in the lungs capillary. Third way. So we have the carbon dioxide in the red blood cell. And this red blood cell will bind to the hemoglobin in the red blood cell to form a carbamino hemoglobin. So this red blood cell will travel all the way to the lungs capillary. Once it reaches the lungs capillary, the carbamino hemoglobin will convert back to hemoglobin and carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide now is free to diffuse back to the alveolus and remove from our body. So that's it, the transportation of carbon dioxide. Hope you guys love this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!